Hi, I'm Jeff Vandyhoff, and this is your tech tip of the day. We're going to take a quick one minute tour of an actual sound channel on a mixer. It's a method that I like to use for teaching sound channel and sound flow through a, through a mixer. What I like to do is I like to think of this as a channel of water, uh, a water pipeline, if you will. So if we start at the top of our channel here, the first thing we have is the gain control. Well, the gain control, what that does is it sets the water pressure in our pipeline. If I turn the gain up too high, I have too much water pressure down in my channel. I have too much electrical signal distorting my signal in the channel. So what we want to do is we want to set the gain in it. Now, if we come down, to jump down to the bottom of the channel here a second, if I have too much water pressure in my water channel, in my pipeline, and I open my faucet just a little bit, the water sprays out all over. I've got way too much water. I can't control it. On the other hand, if I don't have enough water pressure in my pipeline, when I open up the faucet, I don't have any water coming out. I don't have any sound coming out. It's very low volume. So we set the gain control to have adequate water pressure, sound level, within our channel. This gain control actually also affects everything else that's going on in the channel. So as we come down the channel here, when we get to our auxiliary outputs, this has an effect on the volume that we get out of the auxiliary volumes. But I get ahead of myself. The first, next thing we have in line here is the equalization. If you're still thinking about water, what the equalization does is it warms up the water, it cold, cools down the water, makes the water different colors. Uh, that's what the equalization does. It's the, the flavoring in the water, if you will, of our sound channel here. Um, next section we have on a typical mixer is, it, is the auxiliary outputs. Now, in a pipeline, we've got the kitchen faucet here. It's the primary faucet that we're using. But we could also have a faucet in the garage, a faucet in the bathroom downstairs, you know, faucets other places in the house so that that water can go other places besides just the kitchen sink. In a sound mixer, this could be the, uh, the monitors on stage, monitor speakers. This could be for recording, going sending out to our recording deck. It could be for um, the, uh, sorry, I lost my place here. It could be for um, sending out to areas such as the, the nursery or various other areas within the church. So this allows this channel to be sent to other places. Now that we have this on all of our channels here so that we can mix this independently of what we mix down here in our kitchen sink or in the primary worship center. We can uh, turn up uh, the volume of the piano, for example, more on the recording because we don't need very much volume due to the amount of sound that's naturally in the room from the piano. That way we can get our recordings to sound good and we can get what's sounding you know, good in the house mix. Same thing with a monitor speaker. We can have more things in the monitor speaker that a musician might want to hear, irregardless of how it sounds out in the house. So there you have your aux system. The next section we have here is the assignment. This is actually is where our sound is going. We can send this sound to groups. We can send it out to our master. Um, we can actually, in some instances, with a stereo system, we can send it to the left or send it to the right. This is a section that we use to assign where the sound ends up going from this channel. And then, of course, we've got our mute button. Most boards now will have a mute button. This allows us to turn off that whole channel so that, uh, you know, when the pastor gets off stage, you can mute his mic and the sound doesn't go to the monitor speakers or to the nursery or to the recording. And then, as we've been referring to down here, this is our master volume. So there you have it. If you think of setting up the water pressure so that we have just the right amount of sound in our channel, we can come to the area here where we, you know, flavor it, color it, and, you know, brighten it up, dull it down, clean it up with equalization. We send it to other areas in the building or on the stage. We make sure that it gets out to the right amount of speakers we want it to, and we control the volume. And that's your channel in a minute.